characters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Wow! Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You are what you believe you are. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls what your power, it's what you believe. Love it. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 233, NASDAQ up 20, SP's off 13 and a half, gold, gold contract down $27.70, 1994 an ounce. You get silver down 33 cents, trading at 23.96. Light sweet crudes off 42 cents, $70.69 a barrel. Notes and bonds, 10 year note down nine ticks, trading 114.30, the 30 year off 20 at 129.05 and king dollar. King dollar is up 114 ticks, 102.548. The euro is at 108. The yen is out here at 136. And the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, if I bring the future up, I mean, the, uh, yeah, the active future contract first. Intraday, what you're going to see out here is that we've been oscillating all day long, but that being said, we had a high volume low that I suspect we're gonna go into, and that's 4127. That's uh, nine points lower than we are right now. It's been messing around all day long. You can see when we went up, we got up higher, but bottom line, just didn't have the juice in it. That was going as uh, 27,000 contracts was going into 45. Um, we'll see how this shakes out. My take is that we're gonna be down at these uh, lower levels. We go into the uh, ND. Let's look at the NDX because the NDX, a uh, different animal here, man. Well, actually, let's go inside the NDX first and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. So the strength, AMD's on up 4.9 percent. Google's up three and a half percent. Amazon up. Amazon's up two and a half. Taken away from it. CGEN's down five. You get Walgreen Boots off five. Moderna's off four. eBay's off three. Now let's go into the NQs. We take a look at the NQs out here. So look at that difference, man. There's, there's, you just don't have the differences pretty dramatic. Now, we came down with volume, but see you going up with higher volume. Look at this is just two different shots, man, period. You know, we'll see whether it wants to try to get to the highs of that, but you can see the difference. The difference is pretty dramatic in those shots in a, in a huge way, as is if I go into the queues, watch this intraday, we take a look at the queues. And you can see, this is the Q's inter intraday. That has volume there. So in the morning, it was 1.1 million. But guess what? You were going against 1.5. Whereas we go to the SPY, and what you're going to see, look at that difference. The difference is pretty dramatic. That low has uh, 2.3 million. Last time we just came down, we just came down with 800,000, so that's not enough, but it doesn't have any juice on the way up either. Gold, we're going to take a look at the gold contract out here. The active contract right now, we're trading down 216,000 uh, contracts. 
I suspect we're going to break this consolidation, folks. That's the way this is looking right now. So if we take a look at this, and this is what gold loves to do, man. You can see there's an expansion of volume coming up as we go into the, the bottom of this consolidation is 1980. We're at 1994. And then if we get over to it, the GDX probably has the two. Let me go look at the GDX here for a second. So, yeah, it does. See the GDX? We're going down. GDX wants to get down to this 31 area. You had 33 right now. That's the last time we had volume on the way up. That's how this works. Once you break it, in fact, you're breaking, one second. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're breaking a swing today with volume. So there's another way you can do this too. Watch this. This gets interesting. You can take, you broke the consolidation, take the bottom of the consolidation, which is the 31, is that 3108? Take the top, this is 36, that's five bucks. That gets you down to, uh, what did I say, 31, it gets you down to 26, and what's that right there? That's a lot lower than that, hold on, make sure I'm doing that right. Oh, no, that's 30, oh, the bottom is, no, the bottom is 33. Top of it's, no, is that right? Yeah, 33. Yeah, it's only three points, okay. So, back down to 30, and the top of that, there you go, and the top of that is 30, 31. So it's three points. That's when you get the break and you get the break with volume. And it's going to be all about the good old dollar. So that's saying that the dollar wants to run to this 106 at least. Now that's going to continue to keep pressure. Also, the last swing high up here was 105, 580. Now we're always getting the 106. The 106, I believe, let me just pull this is a 0.382 retracement of the way down. That's all, and that's a dead cat bounce. So I'm not looking for the dollar to go to heaven. Yeah, there it is. 10, what is this? Actually, from the top is 102. Oh, it's the 50. No, it's actually, it's the six, see that's a 618. 10, 106 to 107 is a 618. So that would be a, that would be a big bounce. But the way this is set up here at the 0.382 of the whole move down. You know, we'll see where it shakes out. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness out here point-wise. We have Microsoft putting 24 positive points, uh, Salesforce 13, taken away from it. Amgen, minus 36. United Health, minus 32. Home Depot, uh, minus 24. Uh, bottom line is that it's going to get... Uh, well, what's going to be really interesting coming into the close, folks, is that is the meeting at the White House going to get out, get out before 4 p.m.? Because it's going on right now. Now, the last meeting that they had started at 4 p.m., they were smart enough to make sure it started after the market, you know, closes. In this particular point, we'll see if they ever, if they ever get out before it. And it's just, listen, the, if you go back to 2011, that's where I think this is going to go, this is going to go right down to the last days. That, that's how my, my take on this. And, yeah, and they're, they're, but that's what it looks like to me. Because, because this has been going on since January, you know. Right? It, it's May. January, February, March, April. It's been going on five months, man. You know. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials are down 242. NASDAQ's up 13, 24. S&P's down 13. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com 
TFNN Educating Investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down at 245. Get the Nasdaq up 19. S&Ps are up uh, 14. So if we take a look at the SPY, this is where you can see this thing is hanging out here like a, a sore thumb, folks, okay? And it's right either one of those bars. See those bars, how heavy they are? They both, the, the first bar had, uh, what is that, 80 million... The second bar had 94 million. So we'll see where that shakes out. But, oh, yeah, no, no, I don't want to do it that way. Sorry. That's, that's a daily. So a daily wants to go down too, but yeah, watch. Whoops. Spread this out. And you're going to see right here. See that pop? That's the highest volume bar we have all day. So that low there, that's the 41070. So those are always cool bars, man. That's the bottom line. So I suspect that's going to get tested. Um, Home Depot. Let's go take a look at Home Depot because what's interesting about Home Depot now, this is a confirmed ABC down. Now, it's come back on price, but this is going to get really dangerous. So you can see Home Depot, you get 10 million shares traded. You were down at 277. It came back uh, already, uh, what, uh, three, seven points from there. So we're only down four instead of 11. But that expansion of volume, you broke the swing. The swing had volume. It's the one I was talking about yesterday. The bottom line went after that. Now watch this. On the weekly, it's a big ABC down. Because the weekly is going to break too. Oh, maybe, maybe not. No, hold it, hold it. Because that weekly... That'd be interesting. That is 26 million. What day is it? Oh, yeah, no, no, it should break. That's all, we're only on Tuesday. Yeah, that should break. And if that's the case, you get an A point out here of 341. You get a B point of 280. You know, so talking about 61 points coming off of uh, 303. So what, 243. And you're at 284 and... Let's see where we can find 243. Yeah, 246 is where it had strength. You can see that, that bar, we went from 246 to 308 in one month. 
So that's game. That's game. And I suspect if we go to Lowe's, you're going to see the same thing. Now, Lowe's comes out afterwards. But Lowe's did have a better chart also. That's the other side of this. You know, Lowe's is only down a buck 20, 97 right now. That rejected lower price. Still had some volume inside it. There's no doubt about that. So let's go take a look at uh, NAT. This is one of the tankers out here. So you got, let's see, the low. So this is a oil transportation tankers, okay? Yeah. So the low in this is 180, the high is 463. Yeah, I don't see any strength in this. This on a weekly. Yeah, I, this is a, it's in a consolidation, but I just don't, I suspect it's going to get down to the uh, 326 before, you know, you get in a higher price. Now, let's check this out. Lumber. I want to look at this. So, lumber. Let me look at this contract. There's, what's going on, folks, is that there's a new lumber contract. This might not be, no, this is still not it. So what has happened is this. Yeah, no, this is not it. Okay, lumber, L-U. Let me look at this one, see, it might be different. Yeah, this is it. Okay, here, so check this out. This is gonna be two by fours, right? Let me see, contract, specifications. So, I can't read that. Normally linked. Okay, I'll just walk it. You see the differential of price? 344 versus the other one was up the 1600s, or even that, more than that. Well, what's going on? I suspect that this contract, if you do trade the futures, is going to get a lot more traction. The reason being, folks, is that there's a, now watch this. This is, this is what's really important to understand in future contracts, where the delivery takes place and what are you buying or selling. So the large, the, the contract that Lumber has been trading in since the pandemic has been illiquid. And they, they probably should have changed this a long time ago because what had happened is that that contract comes out of the Pacific Northwest and it has to do with rail cars of lumber, okay? Make a long story short, a lot of the lumber, you know, 50 years ago, everything came out of there. That's not the case anymore, okay? So the new contract is going to be um, a carload of two by fours that I think now they're doing this for liquidity. They, and I, I suspect, you know, a lot more people are going to be able to understand this pretty quick. And the delivery point is going to be in Chicago. So they're doing this so that there can be more liquidity and that they're hoping that this is, will get this contract going again. So it's going to be interesting watching this whole thing shake out and really understanding that, See, when you have an illiquid product, the home builders actually couldn't hedge themselves because you don't know what the real price is. You know, if things only trade once or twice a day, and, they, and that's how it was going on with the bigger contracts, it's a problem. Because the bigger contract, I believe, went from, wait, wait to see this. I think, it, I mean, this, the, I'll do the generic, because I think it's, I remember $1,700 down to 300 or something. The, the move was like insane. Let me see this. I'll put this on. Yeah, so what is this up here? Yeah, $1,711. And right now, you're at three seventy six on this on this contract. <laughs> How's that? Right? Now, the, the problem is for home builders that that was illiquid, man. Just doesn't, just doesn't, just doesn't fly. That's the bottom line. So, anyway, uh, this is the what is going on is that the last contract is falling off right now, and as soon as that falls off, all the lumber contracts are going to be a, a truck full, a truck full versus a train 
car full of two by fours, which folks are going to be able to understand more. What's going to be interesting is that, I mean, it's very easy to basically fill up a truck with two by fours, you know. So the suppliers themselves, okay, and in Georgia, um, you know, there's huge amounts of people in the real estate business. That's all they do is basically they plant, you know, soft pine. And that's what that's that, you know, if you're down in Georgia, I was thinking about this last night. Um, bottom line, I start looking around because it's possible that that land would actually even go up because the fact of the matter is that, I mean, Georgia, Chicago is nothing for delivery, you know. Dow, Dow Industrial is down three, down 239. NASDAQ up 30, S&P's off 11 and a half. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industries is down 250, NASDAQ's up 26, S&Ps are off 13. And we'll, let's go into the Heaviest traded stocks, not that there's going to be any volume out here today. We have Tesla up a buck. You got Amazon up 280. Advanced Micro, that's on the move for sure, up 477. Uh, Alphabet's up 350. Uh, I have to get into NVIDIA and NVDA. Let's take a look at this because this thing just doesn't stop. Yeah, it's going to another high today. So, yeah. 
You know, you had a consolidation. You popped up to one high, which was the 290. It sideways again, popped again. You know, you get, you get some volume behind here. Uh, this is this one. This one here is all about AI, no doubt. Oh, I see, but we're not here at the highs yet. Oh, look at this. Let's go look at this. Okay, because the high of Nvidia is 746. Seven? What? No, my God. 346. Okay, 346. And you've already done a 0.786. It says you can go all the way up, but you know, check this out, man. If you, if you can get this right, <laughs> Nvidia is a trip, folks, okay? Because it trends beyond belief. You, know, you can see this chart. I mean, it trended down for, let's see, I got this on a monthly. Yeah, let's see, three, five. It trended down for a year. Now it's been trending up for six months, seven months. But see this contraction down here in volume? That's telling me that it gets up to that high, man. You can sell it away unless, I mean, unless those, those, that volume changed, but it's pretty dramatic. You know, you, you go back three months, you had 1.3 million. You go back last month, you had 700,000. This month, we were only at 434,000 for the 34 million, rather. So, you know, most of the time, that's, that's something that will be a problem, child, because that's distribution, not buying. Well, there's buying, but, uh, and there it is. You want to see these high volume highs? Look at them. There goes, we've been talking about this high volume for quite some time. It's the 114, and Amazon's hitting it today. You can see that, uh, that's laying up there, man. These high volume highs, high volume lows are so sweet, it's insane, folks. Let's, let's go take a look and put this on a three year now. So, It's going to take more to get over this, but it's made it up to it. And that is also, right now it's at a 5.0. So we'll see what that can get going. Um, we go take a look at the, let's go take a look at the silver market. So the silver market Okay, so you're down with volume. Yeah, so we'll do the SLV. It's going to be set up the same as gold. Yeah, it's actually set up a little less. You got the SLV is game to, what is that, 20 bucks and 40 cents. That's how it's set up. Okay, it broke with volume. You get a little more volume today, but these high volumes, you know, and I suspect, we'll see how this shakes out, but I suspect what's going on is that most of the time in the gold market, folks, okay, that you trend for quite some time, which we have, for sure. We trended for some time. You get a pullback. It's a large pullback, but you still have an uptrend going. Like, if you look at... Anglo, um, Anglo Ashanti, you're going to see this was a heck of a trend, man. I mean, it went from $16 all the way up to 30 right? Not bad. Straight move up. Now it broke with volume, and, you know, now you're going to have another shot getting at it. You know, just take, it's just patience. Just take patience. You know, this thing could get out of $20 or 25 right now, but guess what? That high that's established out there is a high volume high. So that sand wants to go back and watch this when you take a look at this equity. You can see it got over its consolidation, but you see how it didn't have the volume when it got over it? Now it's going underneath it. As it's going underneath it, the volume is contracting. So what that means is that you're actually going to be building cars for higher price. And what is happening with uh, Anglo Gold is that they are actually giving up their What's really wild about Anglo Gold, actually, is that their major, yeah, I want to make sure I'm still right on this, but, I, but their major asset is still in South Africa. I wonder how they pulled this off, actually. Let's see. But they're, they're going to, um, it holds 71 million ounces in reserve. Oh, no, they're all over the place. Okay, they're all over the place. They're, they're operating 
20 mines in 10 countries now. Because what they're doing, they're giving up their listing in South Africa, and they're going to be listed in the U.S. as their major exchange. You can see this right here. The major exchange right now is Johannesburg. But they, they're, they're changing that. And, of course, the, what happens, the, two different things end up happening. You have to have a strong company to basically do that, and then the liquidity goes up dramatically. That's, that's the bottom line. Everyone wants to be in the United States, whether it's the NASDAQ or the NYSE. You know, that's, that's where the liquidity is. That's where you can get out of large positions. You can get into large positions, um, you know, day and night. That's, that's the reality. We go over and we take a look at the, uh, okay, so the GLD would be next. But GLD is going to have the same type of setup. Yeah, so the GLD, we're talking about 170, 179, and you're at 184 right now. We go to, now the note and bond market is going to get really intriguing because right now, you know, this morning you had uh, a couple of the 1.5 million, a couple of the Federal Reserve governors out and presidents, presidents rather, um, saying uh, we, had a, we got an expansion of volume on the bond market today, but it's still going into 2 point, no. Yeah, it's going into 3.7 million contracts. You only got 1.5. So, but what you did have is that you had uh, a couple of the presidents coming out today saying that they still want data and they're still not sure about the aspect whether inflation, you know, whether they got to keep going up on rates. So, you know, we'll see well, how this baby shakes out because the uh, reality out here is that right now we are at that five. I think it's five to five and a quarter, right? Come on. Yeah, it's five to five and a quarter. You know. Because we know that hits the banks. There's no doubt about that. Now, things have calmed down a little. But I suspect by the time... Well, here, what is the next one? That's what we want to see. One second. Because if this is going to collide with the debt ceiling, it's going to be really interesting. The next meeting... June 14th. So, yeah, no, there's going to be a destruction before June 14th. That's for sure. So, stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrial is down 271. NASDAQ is up 19. S&Ps are up 14 and a half. We're coming right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is uh, down uh, 269, NASDAQ's up 17, S&Ps are off uh, 15 and a half. Let's go look at that future contract. I forgot what that number is, where that high volume low is. Oh, 27. We're at 27. Right now, you're at 30, 34. So, hey, we'll see where it shakes out. But that's the baby right there. Now, as I mentioned before, what's really cool about high volume lows or highs, folks, is that if they don't get hit, you know, like coming into the close, you get a high probability they're going to get hit either the next day or overnight. Now, if they get hit overnight, there's not much you can do about it unless you're trading futures. If you're trading options, uh, the bottom line is a whole different ball game because uh, if it hasn't got hit and the market's opened, well, guess what? You get a high probability that that's where you're going to go. You know, so just always keep that in mind uh, when you have these high volume lows or high volume highs. It, they both work the exact same way. And the the NQs, I mean, this is really intriguing. At the NQs, it's like okay, this is this. You don't see this too many times. So the NQs are in a whole different ball game, man. They they absolutely are. You can see the, the charts looks nothing like the S&P. There's no doubt about that. Now, granted, today what's going on is that, you know, Home Depot is a big lag in it. That's pushing lows down a bit. That's a lag in it. That, that makes a difference, too. You know, so we'll see where it shakes out. But the, the biggest thing that you want to grasp out of here coming in is this good old dollar. Because the dollar right there, you know, if that dollar goes to 106, everything's going down. You know, and we'll see if that's the, the case of, uh, <laughs> you know, how the debt ceiling is going to come in. You know, the seal, yeah. Hey. The one thing that I think is consistent in the debt ceiling and politicians is that it's the last day deal. <laughs> that's what I think is consistent. That's what I'm going with. That, that's the bottom line. You know, regardless of what we all think is so important, and it is important, <laughs> it's really important, um, in a monster way, uh, because it affects everything, um, like ASAP. And the 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 way that I look at the, you know, like you you hear the aspect that oh let let's just do it, let's just default. That you know what that is to me. <laughs> well, never mind. It, yeah, no, that is that is to me that you're in a monster brawl, and you, you're just gonna say let's brawl it out. And if you've ever been in some big brawls, folks, everyone gets hurt. There's no such thing as a big brawl and people don't get hurt. That's, you know, I've been in plenty of them, okay? And you don't come out of that, you know, in good shape ever, both sides. Yeah, so I don't want to see that, not even close, actually, because you don't, you don't know where it actually comes from. Um, you don't know what the ramifications actually are. So we'll see where it's going to shake out and who's going to, you know, it's not, it's, yeah, I guess it's who's, who's going to blink first, you know. So here we go with the S&P. It's coming on down to that baby. There she comes. Come to daddy. <laughs> Look at this, man. 
This is crazy. You know what has ha happened also is that because the, um, you know, I've been watching this for now for quite some time, meaning that because QE is over and all of this is over, if you do have the, you know, my book, The Out of Time in the Trade, you know, it's the price and volume folks has been working in spades for about a good year and a half now. I mean, in a month's away too. So if you don't have that book, check it out. You can go to Amazon, get it, The Out of Time in the Trade, but it's something that you want to wrap your head around because these high volume lows, high volume highs, swing points, all the above uh, little roadmaps that you know you can get your head wrapped around and it gives you an understanding of where the supply is where the demand is and exactly you don't know who's buying and who's selling but you certainly know where the strength and weakness is and strength and weakness is totally where it's at you know because the market on a continual basis you know, we know when, on a longer basis, like Tommy was showing this morning, it was really a cool chart this morning. If you were watching uh, Tommy's show, it was an amazing show this morning because he was talking about the um, S&P, the, the one-day S&P options, which are great, okay? But he was showing that the trend line, the trend line, I mean, this is, this is Bud Rolfs up in heaven, you know, with Tommy's hand coming all the way down because it was like so perfect it's it's even hard to comprehend and then of course we had our man mr basil chapman the trooper as larry is as as everyone is uh here but uh, in particular you know larry and uh basil um basil's doing his program today from the uk so how cool is that uh inside let me go look inside the so volumes out here now this is where and the nyse yeah, see, that's light, 493, that's light. And then on the composite, that's light also. See, the composite only did 4 million shares yesterday. So you are reaching higher levels with huge contractions, and that doesn't set up well either. So it, it, what will probably happen is this. See these, these little bars in the composite? They're probably going to get smaller and smaller and smaller, meaning the price spread. Normally, if you're going to pull back, what ends up happening is that these bars will get smaller, 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 and the co contraction of volume goes simultaneously. That's how they, they normally get set up. Let's go see what good old uh, Elon Musk is doing with uh, Tesla. Tesla right now, that's ready for the next leg down. Yeah, see this gapped away, going sideways. This, one, this one's going to be interesting to see. Because that 101 is still sticking out like a sore thumb, and right now you're at 167. That's a that's a big number, man. Uh, AMD is oh no, it's Micron. Micron is the one that I think busted topside, didn't it? Nope, AMD. Yeah, so AMD. No, this wouldn't be busted topside. Oh yeah, it would. Okay. Yeah, no, I thought it was a lot higher. This is getting strength, though. This is getting strength, no doubt. A lot of these are setting up the same way. This is what's going to be so tricky, actually, because there's no doubt that, you know, you can make the case on a lot of these, as, as folks have, that, you know, you, we've been in a consolidation. You get a large head and shoulders to bottom, you know. But what does happen is that that can get smoked in about one second. I've told the story many times is that at one point I used to look everywhere in the market. I thought there was head and shoulders everywhere, literally. There you come. You're only four points away from that high volume low now. It's going after it. Now watch. See, do you see? You see the expansion of volume again? What did we got at here? That's okay. So you're going to start a new bar. So you had the expansion of volume. They're going to bring it right down there, man. That's, that's how it goes. And if you get the test... So it's 350, you know, this is just, this is going to get down to that level, you know, so. You have the break, you get over to the SPY, we take a look at the SPY. Whoops. There you go. I just hit it, just hit it. That's going to break it. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. To Dow. Dow Industrial is down 327. The Nasdaq's off nine S&Ps. That was quick on the Nasdaq. S&Ps are down 24. Now, though, watch this. I'm not quite sure if that meeting just finished or what happened because... This was a downdraft for sure. I mean, we, we were looking for the test. You not only got the test, it blew right by it. And it blew by it with volume. So now what you have is this. Now let's put this up. Put that up. Yes, you're still gonna have an inside day here. 47 million shares inside day. That's how this is shaking out right now, you know. And I'm not sure whether it was just a sell Oh, uh, let me see if I can get this news. Oh, they come, actually come out of the meeting. It doesn't look like they come out of the meeting, you know? So with that, with, hey, you know, we know things go down, people are selling. Things go up, people are buying. That's the real bottom line. And right now, this market's still weak. Now, inside the NQs, this was quite a move in the NQs. This is absolutely amazing, actually. But the NQs, when they get volatile, man, they get volatile. So look at the, the NQs. The high was 554, and we're 486. We haven't seen that for a bit time, you know. And that didn't, that, it, it, and this did. It was interesting here. You see what happened here? This didn't go to the bottom of it. It went to the, the high of it. And that's what I was talking about earlier today. Because it's pretty hard to go to the bottom. Now, the bottom is, it might, we still have a few minutes, but the bottom is... Uh, no, 52. The, the, the high of that bar was 86, right where we are. 
that's where that lays out. You can see the expansion though, you know. So we still have more sellers than buyers in this marketplace, folks, and the market is jittery. There's no doubt about that, you know. And that's the trader's paradise. Both sides, you can go trade both sides of this market. There's no doubt about it. Uh, the dollar is going to be a problem for the market in general, you know. As I'm talking about the S&P, I'm talking about the metals market, all of the above. I throw everything out. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Great show. Yeah, go get him, folks. <laughs>